One of the big stories yesterday about Tesla was that Tesla is inking a three-year lithium deal with one of the largest lithium producers in the world, Gafeng, uh, to advance its 4680 new batteries for Tesla electric vehicles. But there was another news in the past two days that kind of went unnoticed. Tesla is going to buy 45 gigawatt hour of LFP batteries from Cattle. Tesla and Cattle have struck a deal for 45 gigawatt hour of LFP batteries and are talking about even more. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up please for this report. We would greatly appreciate it. Steve Henley from Clean Technica has noted that uh, citing the 36KR Chinese website CNEV post, he says Tesla actually reports the Chinese website that Tesla has agreed to to buy 46 gigawatt hour of lithium iron phosphate batteries from cattle to meet its expected demand for the model 3 and model y cars in 2022 the model 3 and model y are currently available with lfp batteries in their standard range versions with the former having a 55 kilowatt hour battery and the later a 60 kilowatt hour battery the purchase will be enough to power about 800 thousand vehicles the company sold 627,350 electric cars in the first nine months of this year tesla nevada battery factory will soon increase production to produce more than 40 gigawatt hour of batteries in 2022 and with additional supplies from panasonic and lg chem tesla's 2020 sales could be at least 1.5 million units the 36 kr report says citing industry sources. That report claims that even as the new contract was being announced, Cattle and Tesla were in talks about increasing the order even further. Friends, LFP is rapidly becoming the chemistry of choice for medium and low price electric vehicles. Data released earlier this month by the China Automotive Battery Innovation Alliance showed that LFP battery installations in China have continued to grow in the past two months after surpassing ternary batteries for the first time this year in July. According to the data, China's battery installed base in September was 15.7 gigawatt hour up 100 38 uh, percent year on year and 25 percent from august among them ternary batteries installed a total of 6.1 gigawatt hour up 46.6 percent year on year and up 15 percent from august however lfp battery installation volume increased even more with 9.5 gigawatt hour installed in september up 309 percent year on year and 32 percent compared with august with uh, what to what do all these numbers mean? Simply this, says Clean Technica. The electric vehicle revolution is accelerating thanks in part to lower price and improved performance for lithium iron phosphate batteries. Going forward, NMC and other traditional lithium iron battery chemistries will be reserved for high end and or high performance electric vehicles. Most of us will be quite happy to drive a car that takes a blink of an eye longer to sprint to 60 miles per hour but costs considerably less to buy friends in my opinion also um, electric vehicle revolution will move on even further because new battery chemistries are coming new battery research is going on and things are going to get even more exciting well let me know what do you think about tesla buying 46 gigawatt hour of lfp batteries from cattle are you happy with lfp batteries and having higher batteries for the higher range and higher priced performance electric vehicles this is armin harian from torquenews.com Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle batteries news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you. Peace be with all of you, friends. Be good to each other. And let's move on to the next story. We have a fresh new update about Tesla Giga Berlin, which is going to delay the approval until at least November 22, friends. The repeat online discussion on Tesla Giga Berlin starts today. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. The repetition of the online discussion for the construction of Tesla's Giga Berlin factory in Grünheide near Berlin starts today, this Tuesday, and it should last 
until November 22nd. That means don't think Tesla will be approved until November 22nd. And I don't think it will be approved immediately after 22nd. It will take at least another 5 to 10 days, if not a whole month. So if we get a Tesla Giga Berlin approval by the end of December, it will be good news. So a first online construction ended on October 14. After discussing over 800 objections, environmental groups had accused the country of having been announced too late. The state environment agency then decided to repeat the procedure for safety reasons. However, the Ministry of Environment spoke of a legal conception that deviated from the previous interpretation. The information received from objectors so far in the first consultation will be examined, it said. As a result, the schedule for the start of production at the Giga Berlin plant has become more uncertain as i just said tesla boss elon musk is aiming for the first vehicles to roll off the assembly line in grunheide at giga berlin by december at the latest the final approval of the state is still pending the new online discussion must first be evaluated however the automaker is sticking to its schedule now if the automaker uh, as rbb24 brandenburg's public radio says is sticking to its schedule how can they produce cars um, at a production level without the final approval? The environmental associations had rated the repetition as a positive but a sign, but were dissatisfied, among other things, because no new public interpretation of Tesla's applications was planned for the factory. So, friends, what do you think? When do you think Tesla Giga Berlin will finally be approved? If the uh, it, if the repeat discussion is going to be lasting until November 22nd, how many days do you think the government will need to give the final approvals? Or I'm also thinking in a best scenario, or good scenario possibly, that uh, the government may be simultaneously drafting the text of the final approval. And once the yeah, discussions finish without any major change, uh, maybe they can go ahead and give the final permit and Tesla will start production by December. So let me know your thoughts, friends. I don't know how uh, to describe all this, but this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Give us thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. Share in social media and uh, have a great day. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And we'll see you in our next report. Let's move on to the next report and next coverage, friends.